situations every single time. No one's there, and then I push and I get into the fight, and all of a sudden, oh no, let's go help him. Ah, ghost in the night. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm BraveX Hero, and I am your PvP analyst, here to provide you with everything you need to succeed in a Crucible Arena. From tips to help you improve in all aspects of your game to fun builds to use in a crucible. So if you enjoy this video, you might want to consider checking out my other videos on the channel. And if you enjoy those, then click that subscribe button because it is a free way to support me and the channel. But enough messing around. Let's get into today's video. So in today's video, we're going to be focusing on a familiar loadout. A few days ago, I stepped into the PS4 PvP arena. I did some trials with some friends and I found myself struggling to adjust. Now, it could have been the FPS change or the minor meta change. Yes, guys, the meta is slightly different on console compared to PC, but nonetheless, auto rifles still reign supreme on either platform. Now, I do want to proceed with caution. You will be seeing a mix of both PC and console gameplay in the background, so prepare your eyes for that. The reason you were seeing both PC and console is to show that even if this build is focused towards console players, PC players can still benefit from it. And on that topic, guys, I will be doing a mix of console tips and PC tips. So regardless of whatever platform you are on, every, and I mean everyone, will benefit from every one of my videos. So again, guys, be prepared for that. Now, it would be a lie to say that aim assist isn't strong on the controller, but that's a good thing. Why? Use anything and everything to your advantage. And why is that? Because if you can use it, your enemy will use it on you. So aim assist is strong on controllers use it guys use the aim assist and what do i mean by that simple you're going to want to snipe because when it comes to sniping and trials your main goals are to get good positioning or get the first pick with this loadout right here you can accomplish both of those so this build is going to reference a similar build i did in the past which i called the max ability build this is more of a condensed version with slight changes which I will break down in detail, but if you haven't seen the max ability builds, I recommend you give that a watch. The link is going to be down below and at the top of the screen now. When it comes to trials, two things play a huge role. Number one is knowing your enemy positioning. That is a great way to get the advantage on them. Being able to counter any enemy's game plan can lead you to a win. And the second thing is being able to get the first pick. This allows you to have the advantage in the numbers game, essentially having more guns on your side. More teammates alive, more teammates to team shoot with. So when I was on console, I wanted the best of both worlds. I decided to go with the exotic gauntlets Kepri Sting, which gives me an offensive and defensive ability. For those unaware of the exotic perk of these gauntlets, Kepri's reads, Touch of Venom. Punching someone with full melee energy will instantly cast Smoke Bomb. Gain true sight while in your own Smoke Bomb effect. Your smoke bomb deals increased damage. Wow, that's a mouthful. But let me break it down by two important things in that statement there. Gain true sight while you are in your own smoke bomb. In layman's terms, that will give you the ability to see your enemy's outlines through walls, thus granting us the ability to know your enemy's positioning. Now, something else in that text that really stands out to me, your smoke bomb deals increased damage, which is great for an offensive wombo combo. But... That right there pairs extremely well with the exotic weapon of choice, the Monte Carlo. Now, I won't go too in-depth with the Monte Carlo. This weapon has been around for a while. The exotic perks will be on screen. Check it out. But with this weapon, it will allow me to have my melee more often, thus allowing me to utilize Kepri Sting exotic perk more often. What I really like about the Monte Carlo is that it hangs with the big boys. Comparing stats with other top tier 600 RPM all rifles, the Monte isn't far behind in some categories, and it even shines in other categories. You can see the stats for yourself. So this loadout isn't putting you at a disadvantage. It would be one thing if I said you need to go in there with the half Dan and do work. But no, the Monte Carlo, for being a 600 RPM auto rifle, you are on an even playing field. Do keep in mind that the exotic perk that of the Monte Carlo is going to allow you to get more true sight by utilizing Capri Sting more often. So you were on a leveled playing field with a very powerful gun. So how did I use this loadout to its fullest potential on console? I would begin each initial round by using my smoke ability on myself. This would allow me to get true sight, thus allowing me to see which route my enemies would take. And I would relay that information to my teammates and we would counter them with ease. 
Now, when it came to someone flanking, I would be able to track them through walls easily and have them walk into my scope. Once I knew they were going to peek out around the corner, I would let Amos take over for an easy headshot kill. This would give our team the advantage by having a 3v2 situation. We would cover on the body and we would get an easy win. But for those looking to take this loadout even further, further and beyond, I do recommend a specific subclass. Yes, you can use any void subclass, but if you really want to get the most bang for your buck, the most synergy between exotics and subclass, then you might want to go with Bottom Tree Night Stalker. The reason I'm suggesting Bottom Tree Night Stalker is because of how well it synergizes together. The subclass and the exotic just mold so well. Again, you can see it on screen. I'm going over the perks of the Bottom Tree subclass. Again, guys, I go over all of this in my Max Ability Build video, so check that out. In conclusion, I did struggle a bit on PS4 when I first got in there. Adjusting to a different meta, sure. But with this build, it allowed me to capitalize in the two departments that I wanted to. Being able to know my enemy's positioning at all times. When I would smoke myself, I could see my enemies through the walls. I can ultimately tell my teammates, let's plan around this and let's beat them. And two, it allowed me to get the first pick. That was a huge game changer there. Being able to track my enemy through walls and get the first pick. Being able to have the advantage of a 3-2 and an orb in front of me. That was game changer. Tracking your enemy through walls and headshotting them with ease. Satisfying and rewarding. Again, if you're looking for a great loadout, regardless if you're on console or PS4 or Xbox One or even Stadia, this is something I recommend. And with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy content like this, then do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button because remember, it's a free way of supporting the channel and supporting me. If you found this to be the type of Destiny content you like, then do me a huge favor and leave a like on the video by clicking the thumbs up button because that allows me and it lets me know to bring more content like this to the channel. Also, I am doing a few giveaways on Twitch, mostly cool looking emblems. So if you want a chance to win, head over to twitch.tv slash bravexhero and drop a follow. Also, while you're there, you get a chance to see some live gameplay from the hero man himself. And with that, you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.